Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heck and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and today I have a bit of a different unboxing for you. Um, you've probably seen tons of these already all over YouTube because this shop has co um, contacted a lot of YouTubers and asked to do a review for them. So to make this perfectly clear right in the beginning, this is a sponsored um, unboxing. Um, the shop is called Victoria's Moon in the UK and they have uh, provided this kit for me for review for free. So let's see, I ordered, ordered, yeah, <laughs> I told them my choice of painting on the 19th of July. This shipped on the 23rd and it arrived today on August 1st. Um, as far as I can tell, without opening it first, the box inside is in absolute perfect condition. I know the box is there to um, to um, protect what's inside, but if the box is perfect, I'm happy because I don't have to worry about dented stuff on the inside, <laughs> I guess. So it looks in perfect condition. We have a bit of a creative... Um, packing method here with these plastic envelopes. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit creative, but it arrived, so I guess it's it's okay. Let's get into this. I have tried to stay away from most of the other unboxings um, that have been done for the shop just to keep my my own impression unbiased until I get my own painting and I'm I seem to be the the last one to the party <laughs> it seems so you've probably seen this box before it has a few minor dents but it's it's a very pretty pretty box I have to say that. Sometimes diamond painting boxes are very uninspired, but I like this one actually. I know it's not important, but it's in all in the details, isn't it? So Victoria's Moon asked us to, um, to choose a bigger painting, which is of course right up my alley. I love big paintings and this is a 50 by 70. Um, I've, I've seen that others have even selected bigger paintings. I have to admit this is my first um, sponsored review ever and I didn't even think to ask for anything bigger. They said please choose something up to 50 by 70 or 60 by 60 and that's what I did. But I guess I could have asked for more. <laughs> so we have a toolkit with a small green boat, this piece of double-sided adhesive which you can probably use if you have trouble with your adhesive on the canvas to patch spaces, spots where the adhesive is either damaged or maybe not sticky or whatever. The pink pen with the single place and this is a nine placer, I think. Bent metal tweezers, small piece of wax. I chose a round painting. Hi Lola. Unsurprisingly for you probably. Um, and I think most of the uh, unboxings I've seen were for square kits. There were a couple of round paintings in between, but most are doing squares. So I think at least in that regard, um, this is a bit different from, from the majority, even if I'm the last one to do it. <laughs> so let's see. The canvas is not on a foam roller. It was rolled around the drills. Honey Bunch, move to the side a bit, please. It's actually a nice thick canvas material, but it's not stiff. So this is nice. The back side looks absolutely perfect. Nothing to worry about here. And it seems that this whole piece of adhesive is just one piece. Wow, that's that's big. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pull this back. So I see black dummy circles. I hope they will be smaller than the drills and not show up around them. And the adhesive so far 
looks really really good in this whole half there's nothing not a single crease one thing i noticed in the few unboxings i've seen is that the print on the canvas doesn't give a whole lot away about what the painting actually is so as always you have seen what my painting looks like in my intro graphic but I think just from, from this you can see the Black Panther, but I'm not sure if you can see a whole lot. Well, I guess you can see her as well. I think this, that this painting was called Beauty with Dog on the, on the homepage. Well, this is very obviously a Black Panther and not a dog, but it has this this artsy watercolor, maybe acrylic color um, look to it. And I apologize for the glare. It is horrible. Let me see if I can adjust my lighting. Oops. Can't make it any better, not at all. Well, that's fun. I think that looks a bit better, doesn't it? All right, not ideal, but a bit better. I think you can see her now. <laughs> so we have this Black Panther, we have this lady, we have flowers. Um, I think the only flower you can actually see is up here. Um, but there are supposed to be more flowers in this painting. And it all has this artsy look. And I absolutely fell in love with this painting. There are a couple more, I think, in that style with different animals. I remember there was a tiger and maybe Maybe one more, not completely sure, but this absolutely spoke to me. So this painting usually retails for 29 pounds and 95 pence. I have to say it looks really, really good as far as the adhesive goes. Yeah, I'm sorry about my shadow now because I, I turned off my um, daylight lamp. You now have my shadow. There are upsides and downsides to everything, I guess. So, I think you can't really see it without the, the lamp, but you have to trust me that this adhesive looks absolutely perfect. Let's see if we can get this giant piece of paper back down again. And let me try something else real quick. I'll be back in a moment. Let's see if that helps against the shadowing. So let's pull back the other side. Because the canvas was rolled around the drills and not the foam core, there's actually not a lot of curling happening here. Okay, so there is something stuck on the canvas and it's actually underneath the glue. Looks like a bit of cardboard. So I guess this will require slight surgery. Uh, yeah. And I have to pause again, this is going well. My exacto knife was of course in the other room because that makes a whole lot of sense. So, I guess I'm going to use this extra piece of adhesive they gave me. Because I've now a tiny spot with no adhesive on there, right here. Well, that's better than cardboard stuck under the adhesive, I guess. Um, other than that, the symbols 
look really good in my opinion very clear very easily legible um there are symbols i've never ever seen before in a diamond painting and of course this is where the glare has to hit this this one here looks like a little little stick figure <laughs> never seen that one before so all in all this painting has 38 colors and let's check the drills shall we check the drills and see if everything is here and i will speed this part up colors all here um, as you can see and as you could see before these are already packed in Ziploc baggies they are packed by weight and there's also no inventory sheet in this kit but this is often the case if you have kits that are packed like this um, in, in many cases you don't have an inventory sheet for those um, which is usually not an issue because you can just check on your key if you have the correct amount and the correct type of colors and then um, have to probably rely on the correct amount. Um, so the drills, as far as I can tell, they are very, very sparkly. They are looking good. I don't see a lot of um, undesirables in here. So not a lot of trash, not a lot of um, bits and pieces. No drills that are standing out in a negative way. Let's look at a smaller bag and check if you can see something because I can only see beautiful shiny drills. So this is this is very promising. Um, I will work on this kit starting today. So I promise to um, do an unboxing, finish it, and then do a final review for it as well to describe my experience. So um, I'm going to, to work on this for the next probably two weeks, I guess, by the size. And I'm going to try to, to record a whip and chat with me working on this. And then we can chat a bit more about how my experience with the kit was up to this point. So... Uh, one last thing I always like to forget is, of course, the measuring. So this is supposed to be a 50 by 70. The drill field area starts about here. And it ends here, which is exactly 70. I am impressed. And up here it starts about here and ends here. And it's again exactly 50. So it's absolutely true to size which is very very good so first impression on victoria's moon um shipping was good shipping was via dhl so it was pretty fast i think they ship everything directly from china i didn't check the because it got relabeled in germany didn't check where this came from originally I don't know if I can actually see it where it came from originally. Um, but I think they sh they ship directly from, from their factory in China and not actually from the UK. Still shipping time was about seven days like they say on their homepage. Though, so this is um, also uh, true to what they claim, which always a good thing. I think they make a difference between kits below a certain size and above a certain size. So if you go for a smaller kit, I could imagine they choose a che uh, cheaper uh, shipping method than DHL. Um, I think shipping in general is free. I probably should have checked that. If it's not, you will see a different notice up here.
So my first impression of this shop is actually pretty good. Um, 30 pounds for painting this size is price wise a little above an ever moment. So I am going to expect a perfect finished result from this. I'm going to be honest with you um, because it's, it's in the upper range. But I am actually looking forward to working on this because this image is very, very pretty. The drills look good. The canvas looks flawless so far, except for this small uh, piece of cardboard that was stuck under my adhesive. But I guess I can test this piece of adhesive they give us now. So <laughs> it's an additional test. Um, yeah, what do you, what do you think? Uh, would you order from the shop? Um, have you ordered from the shop? What is your experience in with shipping and uh, the quality of the kit and have you finished one? I would be interested to hear that. And I guess until I post my ribbon chat, I'm going to say goodbye now. If you like this unboxing, you can leave us a thumbs up. I think Lola enjoyed it very much. She is messing up the drills. Um, you can drop me a comment, of course. I love those. Uh, there is my Instagram and email address in the information box below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but like what you saw, maybe consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified about any of my future videos. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I will catch you very soon. Bye-bye.